Hey everyone, welcome back to IAS Tech. Today we are diving into the Tailwind CSS and learning how to add our very own custom classes. So let's jump right in. For those new to Tailwind, it's utility first CSS framework that allows rapid UI development with small utility classes. But sometimes you might need a custom style that doesn't fit within the provided utilities. That's where custom classes come into play. So ensure you have Tailwind CSS installed and properly configured in your project. If you have not, then check out the Tailwind CSS documentation for the setup guide or you may also look at my Tailwind CSS playlist that I have made in my YouTube channel and I have made a lot of videos where you can learn how to install and other things as well. So right now I already have a Tailwind CSS project up and running. This is very basic one with nothing in my HTML file. Let's say we want a custom gradient background that is not, that is not available in Tailwind CSL's default set. So for that, I would just go to my main CSS file and I will add custom gradient and background color. Actually background image because we want to set gradient and use linear gradient function and use two right and F06 and 9f6 and now let me use it in the html let me add a width and height as well add the comma and now you can see we have the gradient being shown here so as you see i have added custom gradient class with a linear gradient background after the tailwind import in my input.css file. Tailwind also offers a way to extend its default configuration. You can add your own custom utilities and even make them responsive. So let's do that. Open your tailwind.config.js file. In the plugins, let's add a new custom plugin type function. Now after that function, uh, after that object i would use add utilities uh, make sure to receive the function name add utilities call this function and pass this new utilities object that you made and the second parameter i would pass an array and i would say i want to make it responsive and over so in this config, I have added custom gradient utility and made it responsive and hoverable. So this means you can use classes like hover and MD. Let's uh, try this. I will remove the custom gradient from here. And you can see that it is still visible. It is happening because of uh, because we added the custom gradient class here. So let me just make it incorrect and you will see that it will not work. So now let's try the hover effect. So by default, there would not be any gradient. Let me reload it. So you can see, but if I hover on my body, then it will show the gradient like this. And we can also use the MD, the breakpoints for the responsive behavior. So for example, if I reduce the width, you can see the gradient has gone and it would be available only for the medium or greater than medium screens. So adding custom classes in Tailwind CSS is straightforward. It allows for flexibility while maintaining the benefits of utility first approach. Remember to always check if Tailwind already provides a utility that fits your need. And if not, then now you know how to create your own. So if you found this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Drop any questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next tutorial.